tous. Exclusive. Mr. Ambassador, thank you very much uh, for according us this opportunity. Uh, very interesting times now we've seen in Gambia from January of 2017. Um, new interests. We've seen the new president of uh, France, uh, Excellency Macron, invited the new elected, even before he was sworn in, to the Francophone conference in Bamako. For me, that was a defining moment for Gambia. How do you see that? I think, yes, uh, you rightly pointed out that we have decided as soon as you uh, had this uh, democratic revolution, mm -hmm. uh, getting rid of a dictator through ballot mm -hmm. without uh, any blood, mm -hmm. any victims, that's mm -hmm. really kind of a revolution and, and a miracle mm -hmm. and, and a message of hope. Mm -hmm. For the Gambians, of course, but for the whole of Africa mm -hmm. and beyond Africa, a mm -hmm. uh, message for opening for democracy. We decided uh, in front to support as strongly as possible mm -hmm. uh, uh, this new Gambia uh, with a warm welcome in the Bamako uh, summit mm -hmm. in uh, uh, January 2017, mm -hmm. and uh, and then. The President Barrow mm -hmm. uh, made his first visit mm -hmm. uh, beyond Senegal mm -hmm. to, to France, mm -hmm. uh, where he was received by the Chief of State, the Minister of Defense, Foreign mm -hmm. Affairs, Economy, mm -hmm. by the head of the Parliament. Mm -hmm. And since then, we have been building on that mm -hmm. to, uh, to strengthen. Well, it's more than strengthening, because there was, the relationship was really, really minimal before, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To, in fact, so that this relation is now I would say, uh, blooming mm -hmm. uh, in all sorts of uh, directions. But this would be the first time that Gambia is benefiting from such phenomenal, I mean, beyond even uh, the pledge that France has made towards the democratization process of the Gambia in terms of security and looking to economic improvement of the country. I think this is the first time France is embracing Gambia and willing to go the whole way in improving the lives of the people in the Gambia? Yes, but you know, I'm sorry to say that for 22 years we didn't have really any significant reasons mm -hmm. to embrace uh, Gambia. Mm -hmm. This was, so this is a new beginning, if you will. So, uh, here uh, there is a very strong basis because we see hope, we see democracy, we see the need, you know, to support Gambia going through the different hurdles mm -hmm. that you have to face, which are normal in both of economic hurdles, security hurdles. Uh, but I'm very positive. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been working on a lot of different issues. Mm -hmm. uh, whether it's a new French school mm -hmm. that will open in April uh, in uh, Serekunda, Mm -hmm. within the perimeter of the Franco-Gambian alliance, mm -hmm. whether it's about providing a 50 million euros mm -hmm. of grant. Mm -hmm. We announced that uh, at the 22nd of May conference in mm -hmm. Brussels mm -hmm. in support of the National Development Program, mm -hmm. whether it's about resuming uh, military cooperation mm -hmm. through training, mm -hmm. through uh, uh, stops of uh, boats, um, because this is important also to protect your maritime uh, environment, mm -hmm. whether it's through education. Mm -hmm. uh, the Alliance is, is a very instrumental, you know, to provide some training, whether it's mm -hmm. for judges, whether it's for military people, whether it's for, of course, for students. Mm -hmm. uh, and in that way, mm -hmm. we are very, very much encouraged by the fact that uh, Gambia has decided to join the French-speaking organization, Organisation Internationale de la Francophonie. Mm -hmm. And as you know, a few days ago in Erevan, in Armenia, mm -hmm. the organization has welcomed Gambia. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is important. First of all, it's a political message. Gambia mm -hmm. is back on the map. Mm -hmm. Gambia is back in the region, mm -hmm. which is a well uh, French-speaking uh, region. Mm -hmm. And of course, it's also related to the very reality here so many times 
I've been surprised by the quality of French of my interlocutors. Mm -hmm. Whether they learn French in Besançon mm -hmm. or like the Minister of Foreign Affairs, like uh, in uh, Limoges, mm -hmm. or whether they have uh, uh, some uh, Senegalese or Malian or Guinean uh, background, mm -hmm. um, or for whatever reason, but they, they uh, Learned French. we can have a very fluent relationship in French, which obviously create, you know, beyond the language, some kind of cultural uh, links. Mm -hmm. And I think in addition to the fact that you master perfectly English, mm -hmm. this is a kind of another, you know, a plus, plus. it's a plus. Mm -hmm. Plus in terms of economy, mm -hmm. in terms of culture, in terms of, you know, creating human uh, bindings. Your Excellency, but how significant is observer status? Because uh, our understanding is the Gambia is joining the international uh, uh, French mm -hmm. uh, uh, um, organization, if you will. But how significant is an observer mm -hmm. to such, mm -hmm. a, such a body? Well, first of all, it's French speaking, huh? mm -hmm. it's about the language, mm -hmm. so it's not about France, because mm -hmm. this language mm -hmm. is owned by Canada, Swiss, Congo, Mali, Senegal, uh, Belgium, and so many other countries. Mm -hmm. So it's a common, let's say, uh, patrimoine, it's uh, something, common heritage we mm -hmm. have together. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's one step after another. Mm -hmm. You're right to say that uh, observer status is not uh, full membership status, mm -hmm. but you just requested to be part of it. So mm -hmm. it's you know it's one step after another, and I think observer status is is uh, after such a short span mm -hmm. uh, 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 a very good uh, outcome, and and from there on mm -hmm. you will have also access to other bodies like the Agence Universitaire de la Francophonie, mm -hmm. the academic uh, body. Mm -hmm. You will have access to what we call the Forum Francophone des Affaires, that is the business forum. Mm -hmm. You will have access to the Association uh, Internationale des Régions Francophones. This is the group of the French-speaking regions. Mm -hmm. um, so just to flag a few examples there. Mm -hmm. So this, this already, and, and beyond that, uh, uh, it means also that some organization will be able, able to provide uh, some trainings or some mm -hmm. expertise. So it's, it's uh, a big step uh, in, the, in, the, in the direction. Uh, and uh, I think it's, yes, it plays a great role. And I, I saw this morning the, the president mm -hmm. and I really uh, congratulated him for, for such a decision mm -hmm. on his part, on the part of the parliament. Mm -hmm. uh, the speaker, Madame Denton, told me uh, mm -hmm. the, play she, she, the role she played there. Mm -hmm. And, of course, that this was most welcomed by the, by the members of the French-speaking uh, organization. You would think that uh, from the Senegambia Confederation in the 80s mm -hmm. coming now, mm -hmm. that Gambia is uh, acclimatized to French culture, mm -hmm. French uh, way of life, way of living. The, the culture, the language, and then with the emergence of uh, Ecole Francaise mm. or Senegalese that had been in Banjul, now in mm. Serakunda, the emergence of the Alliance Francaise, mm. and all of that, that Gambia has always had an element of French influence, also being geographically placed in the middle of mm. Senegal. Mm. This helps in it. So you would have expected this relationship to have started even through the First Republic? Well, you know, uh, you had uh, quite uh, difficult times. Mm. And uh, the language uh, cannot be isolated from the context. Mm. And uh, I think uh, the French-speaking organization, they, they, it's about also sharing values. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that for 22 years we were sharing values. So uh, I think it's the, exactly the right time to go uh, uh, into that direction. Uh, first of all, you are an English-speaking nation. Mm -hmm. You joined the Commonwealth. Mm -hmm. You're back fully in the Commonwealth. Mm -hmm. And you have this kind of, I would say, a plus or premium or additional uh, uh, talent, which is that, yes, there is a very large uh, number of people here who speak French. And this is, uh, mm -hmm. this is uh, well, additional talent. Definitely. Going forward, how do you see this transitional government in Gambia? 
politically, uh, security-wise? How do you really see the Gambia going forward? Well, I think, you know, people always minimize what they already have. But from what I saw, and I've been here really a lot of times, mm -hmm. even if I am uh, positioned in Dakar, mm -hmm. you enjoy freedom. Mm -hmm. There is no longer this fear of being unfairly prosecuted, arrested, tortured. Mm -hmm. There is no longer this fear. You have the sense also of freedom of expression, mm -hmm. freedom of press. Mm -hmm. Maybe after one year and a half, all this is taken for granted. Mm -hmm. But this is very precious. This is not something that you enjoy all around the world. This is not something that you enjoy all around Africa. So you are enjoying that, and I think without any constraints, without any limits. Um, you are now going to face this very, very delicate process, which is the uh, Truth, uh, Reconciliation and Reparations Commission. I was there on Monday morning for the opening. It's a very delicate process, because I think it was said by, the, by some of the uh, speakers, I mean, mm -hmm. you want to avoid uh, any sense of impunity mm -hmm. and at the same time you want to avoid any sense of revenge. Mm -hmm. So you have to, to find, you know, the, the right path in between mm -hmm. so that uh, justice and, uh, is, is made mm -hmm. uh, and that the victims are heard mm -hmm. and that you are able to, uh, you know, advance your society, mm -hmm. but with full knowledge of what happened before and drawing lessons from the past. This is a very delicate process and this is a very courageous process, you know. Uh, if I take my country, there are episodes of, of French history mm -hmm. we, not, we did not really necessarily uh, look into very deeply mm -hmm. because it was too, uh, too delicate, it was too political, it was mm -hmm. uh, in some way too dangerous. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, I think it's very important, and we did support that fully. Uh, we had two, uh, how do you call this, atelier workshops mm -hmm. at the Franco-Gambian Alliance and mm -hmm. Serekunda, mm -hmm. uh, which were organized with some experts coming from all around the world to help designing the concept behind the work of the, the commission. Well, so that's that's you know that's very important. This democratic uh, asset. The sense of freedom, elections, expression. The local elections, mm -hmm. the general elections, freedom. Mm -hmm. Of course, you need also security, you need a prosperity. Mm -hmm. For this, I mean, it takes some time to work on all the issues, whether it's about the energy, the agriculture, the employment. Uh, but. We uh, provided uh, uh, a grant, 22nd of May. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to work on the field of economy. We'll uh, mainly work, first of all, in the field of uh, agriculture mm -hmm. uh, with a pilot project mm -hmm. uh, in the upper region, mm -hmm. uh, not far from Basse. Mm -hmm. And we'll also uh, work on the water in the Great Banjul area. Mm -hmm. And we'll also work on the budgetary support. You have to face... This is all part point. of the 50 million or this, this is in is, isolation? This, this is part of the 5 zero, the 50 uh, okay. million uh, euros. Okay. And we'll try to do it, you know, as expeditious as possible. Because mm -hmm. I know there's always, you know, a sense of impatience, you know, between the time of the promise, mm -hmm. the and pledge, the delivery. and the time of the delivery. Mm -hmm. And this is normal. Mm -hmm. um, but we'll try to do it as fast as possible, uh, and I have good uh, expectation there. I came not only on my own from Dakar, I came with the head of the Agence Française de Développement, the Development Bank of France, mm -hmm. so that uh, we could uh, take care of these uh, uh, technicalities. A new office is also built in Banjul after a long period of time. How do you think this will relate in terms of smoothening the relationship going forward? I think it's important, you know, being in Dakar is, is a constraint, uh, you know, obviously if I was here in Banjul, mm -hmm. I could uh, expedite the work, mm -hmm. uh, see the interlocutors mm -hmm. much more. Mm -hmm. So, as I cannot move from Dakar because I'm the ambassador from France to the Senegal, mm -hmm. 
uh, we have decided to upgrade mm -hmm. our presence here in the Gambia mm -hmm. by first opening a diplomatic uh, mission, a diplomatic antenna. Mm -hmm. It's on Atlantic Road mm -hmm. in front of the water tank, mm -hmm. uh, to be specific. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, the, the building is there, it's functional, so mm -hmm. it's working. Mm -hmm. It's not a plan, it's there. Mm -hmm. And we also have uh, a new uh, chargé d'affaires, mm -hmm. so, uh, whose, whose name is Joël Godot. Mm -hmm. And he's a very wise and seasoned diplomat. Mm -hmm. uh, just to, to give you an indication, he was previously ambassador to Liberia and, mm -hmm. he, and before he was ambassador to Suriname. Mm -hmm. and he has a very good knowledge of Africa. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure he will do here a tremendous work mm -hmm. and will uh, help him from mm -hmm. Dakar, mm -hmm. not only myself, but the whole team, you know, mm -hmm. whether it's on the military, cultural, economic, or development. Mm -hmm. You'll uh, get all the side. help. Yes, mm -hmm. of course. So it's not only him, it's behind there, there will be support. Well, uh, by way of last question, what does France stand to gain from its relationship with Gambia? Well, you know, I, I know that people always think that uh, states are about uh, self-interest uh, mm. or rapport de force. Mm -hmm. Well, this not, you know, after more than 25 years in the foreign office, this is not the French Foreign Office is not exactly my perception. I think mm -hmm. uh, diplomacy is also about values, mm -hmm. about uh, uh, you know human interactions. Mm -hmm. May look a bit sentimental to say so, mm -hmm. but I think you know it's you're missing a point if you don't integrate that element. But going back to your question, is well, we have. A strong cooperation now with Gambia mm -hmm. because we think that it's decisive that this democratic revolution mm -hmm. is fully successful. Mm -hmm. It's about the Gambia, it's about the region, it's about Africa, it's about beyond. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, once more, you, you should not minimize the fact that you have been able to get rid of a dictature through ballots in a with no blood, mm -hmm. no victim Fiscal process. Manner. And this is really a very strong message. And for this message to bloom, to be uh, heard, we need also that uh, the, um, uh, that this be a success also in economic terms, in mm -hmm. development terms, in security terms. So we have to look at all these avenues. And as France, has a strong interest in Africa. Uh, we have a historic interest. We have uh, so many people from the African diaspora in France. We have, uh, 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 if you look, for example, at the number of French universities, mm -hmm. French citizens, French tourists, uh, French companies, mm -hmm. uh, French uh, uh, mayors, who are active mm -hmm. in the region, whether it's Guinea, whether it's Mali, whether it's Senegal. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's obviously a, a, a kind of synergy, a kind of, uh, you know, uh, of, uh, I think, common interest mm -hmm. to work also in the Gambia. I think, uh, uh, but, but that's, uh, this is quite obvious, you know, uh, for, for so many times, for 22 years, we have refrained from being active to the Gambia because we thought that the, it was the circumstances were not appropriate. We're not favorable. Mm -hmm. Clearly. Mm -hmm. Clearly. Uh, now we see that situation is completely different. Mm -hmm. It's a complete reversal. And as much as we were uh, behind the new president as early as December 2016, January 2017, as much we want to be here, mm -hmm. you know, uh, because, you know, success can, uh, can only be built, you know, on, on, a, on a long span, a long period, mm -hmm. you have to be, to be there. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we're, we're happy uh, and that to see that, uh, well, it's going in the right direction from what I've heard from uh, the various uh, ministers and of course the president uh, I see that, well, you're moving on. Uh, mm -hmm. And 
obviously there's always you know a sense of uh, in public opinions whether mm -hmm. it's in Europe mm -hmm. in America or in Africa mm -hmm. there's always a sense of impatience they always mm -hmm. think that you know the authorities are More not going as fast as necessary but you know when you are in charge it's not as easy as simple you have to define the priorities, you, have, you need to find the fundings, you need to find the partners, and definitely France is proud to be one of the partners of, uh, of uh, the Gambia for, for this uh, great trip. Thank you, Mr. Ambassador. Thank you. Have a very safe pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you.